we shall assume that you have already completed the overview section of this series and that you are familiar with the description and general terminology associated with roller chains. This is the maintenance program in which we're going to explain typical procedures on conventional chain-driven assemblies. The topics that we shall cover are isolation and safety, chain removal and parts cleaning, inspection of sprocket wheels, assessment of chain wear and chain condition, installation and adjustments, automatic tensioning units, and general lubrication principles. Let's begin now with isolation and safety. In abeyance to moving machinery regulations, always completely isolate any machine that is to be worked upon prior to commencement of maintenance. Whether it is simply removing the power lead from a wall socket or having an electrician lock out the system, whatever it requires, do it. Once isolated, you must still be aware of hazards, especially finger traps. Where necessary, use appropriate tools or a convenient safe method of turning any drive unit in such a way that you will not trap fingers or other parts of your body. Depending upon the location of your work, always wear the specified and approved protective equipment. Remove or replace any guards only whilst the equipment is isolated. Always make sure that you have the authority or permission to start up any machine and always abide by the laid down safety procedures.